what is up YouTube XCX Solutions here and today we have a tutorial for you guys and this is basically on how to change your key vault aka KV if you've been console banned or banned from certain games and you want to you know basically just change your KV and have a fresh unshared KV or a shared KV depending on what KV type you choose um, this is the tutorial for you so basically there is two ways if you're running from the stealth servers that are available and you pay for their service basically you can just drop the KV onto your hard drive and off you go and that can last for quite a while now if you're on private server or like you know private files or just the old way basically this is on how to put your KV onto your NAND so basically your whole JTAG changes the KV it's not sitting on your hard drive so I'm going to be showing you exactly how to do that so the first thing you want to do is obviously turn on your JTAG um, and go to games and load XCX menu and you can go through neighborhood and do this but I'm just going to show um, this through XCX menu as it's a lot easier on screen so when XCX menu decides to load you want to go and press LB and go over to the um, hard drive you are going to need one thing and that is flash 360 um, you can just put this on a memory stick and put it on your JTAG and I'm just deleting a file here because I don't need it for the tutorial but you're going to need flash 360 so once you've had that installed you're gonna open it and it's going to say button A button B or button X you're going to press button X and then button A to save the entire NAND to file so what that will do is that will save the whole NAND flash dump dot bin to the flash 360 folder which you have on your JTAG or a memory stick depending on what you have um, you just press any button to continue and that will basically finish now you press the back button on your controller and the back button again and that will exit the application all the download links will be provided in the description below um, when you're at this screen you can just exit out of everything and now we're going to go over to XCX menu and we're going to load freestyle dash you can again you can load this through neighborhood or you can just do it for XX menu however you prefer just load freestyle dash now the reason why we're loading freestyle dash is so we can transfer files across from the computer in just a second you can use a USB stick but I'm gonna show you through FTP so once freestyle dash is fully loaded you then want to go over to your computer or laptop depending on what you have and then I'm gonna show you what to do next okay guys so now we're on the computer side of things we've just flashed the current NAND on the JTAG uh, so now we're going to take that NAND uh, flash NAND current NAND whatever you want to call it off of the JTAG and uh, we're going to be using FileZilla if you don't have FileZilla it's free and it's probably the best FTP uh, client I've ever used I have others such as Core FTP Pro but I do uh, recommend FileZilla as it's free and it's a really really good FTP program so we're gonna open FileZilla now most of you should know already how to connect to your JTAG if you don't then I'll do another tutorial on how to do that but first of all you just want to connect to your JTAG um, make sure you're connected um, to obviously the IP and it's all the same and stuff otherwise you won't be able to connect go into the hard drive of the JTAG and we want to go into the flash 360 folder and that is where the flash dump will be stored and saved so we can simply just drag and drop this onto the desktop shouldn't take too long and as you can see it's done so we're just going to minimize this because we're going to need this uh, in a bit so now we have flash dump now there is other tools that you're going to need and I will provide everything in the description um, so you can just download it if you don't already have it but obviously you're going to need an, a KV depending on if it's unshared or shared you're just going to need a KV that is obviously not console banned so I already have one this is unshared I haven't used it yet um, and you're going to need 360 flash dump tool and KV converter now you're only going to need KV converter if your KV is a type 1 or a type 2 and it's different from your original KV now I'll show you that in just a second so the first thing you want to do is open up 360 flash tool once you have this open you're going to um, firstly go to settings and then keys and you're going to know you're going to need to know sorry your CPU key and you're gonna have to uh, literally this box isn't gonna be ticked from default you're gonna need to tick it and you're gonna have to paste your CPU key in for the JTAG not the KV CPU key 
uh, the JTAG itself, CPU key, you should already have this written down. Um, if you've bought your JTAG from eBay or anywhere else, they should come on a disc or it should come with its notes or something like that. But anyway, you can find out your CPU key. So if you don't know it, you can just Google it. But add your CPU key, click add CPU key and hit OK. Um, the next thing you want to do is click open file and we're going to open the flash dump which was just dragged off from FTP. Okay, so as you can see this is all the details of the KV and your uh, serial number for your DVD drive, um, the OSIG which is basically the brand of your DVD drive, the region and some other information here. So this should be the um, information of your JTAG and KV and other things like that. So the first thing you're going to need to do is click import and then tick K, uh, key vault, sorry, and then click this button here. And we're going to go and find the KV. We don't need the CPU key, we just need the KV. Um, we're going to double click this and hit OK. And now it's going to ask us to save the new flash dump. So I'm going to click desktop and type in UPD flash and hit save. So now we have the new one. As you can see here, the MFR date is the 2nd of the 3rd, 2009, so we're going to see if this changes in just a second. Now, if I click um, open and open the new UPD flash, which I just flashed, as you can clearly see, the KV type is type 1. Now, this is not good. I have to have a type 2 JTAG. Depending on which JTAG you have, all your KVs um, can be different. I think they're slim and fat, so I'm, I'm pretty certain that's what they are, the differences. But I have a fat Xbox, a fat JTAG, so basically I have to have type 2. Now, if you have a type 1, then you're going to need type 1 KVs. If you have a type 2 like I do, then you're going to have to do the process which I'm just about to show you. So as you can see, the region is from it is Korean and it's just completely different and obviously there's no drive here. So what you're going to need to do is download this KV converter. I'm just going to exit 360 flash tool. Open this and this will actually convert the KV to uh, you know a fat or a slim. So in my case it will be slim to fat. So you're going to browse to the KV and double click it and selection conversion type for me it will be slim to fat so we're going to click that and as you can see here it gives us a notification saying conversion complete so we're going to exit this and we're going to open 360 flash tool again we're going to open the flash dump and as you can see it's still the same this is still my information and we're going to click import key vault open and we're going to open the UPD um, no, sorry, not the UPD, the key vault. We're going to open and find and locate the key vault and hit OK. Now it's going to ask us to save this again, so I'm just going to overwrite this, yes, and wait for the bar to go across. When it's gone, you're good to go. You then click patch. You're going to click patch key vault, and what you're going to do is you're actually going to grab the DVD key and the OSIG. Now I've already written this down. This is my DVD key, so I'm going to copy this and paste the DVD key in here so it changes to your one. And my region is power slash EU, but depending what your region is, you choose your region. So for me, it's power EU. And then you're going to need your OSIG. So as you can see here, it's PLDS DG 16D2S. But you just pay attention to this bit. So it's DG. 2s and then it's 7485 um, which is this one here the third one down so it's a Philips light on so I'm gonna click OK and I'm gonna save it one more time I'm just gonna click on UPD flash save replace it yes and wait for the bar to go across and then last but not least we're going to check this so the second of the third 2009 was that key vault and we're going to open the UPD flash and as you can see it's the 3rd, 29, 2006, and it spoofed my region, my OSIG, and my DVD key. So basically, if you don't spoof your DVD key, that means you can't um, you know, run off the disks from your JTAG. Now, I know a lot of people don't do that, but I do it anyway because I know this is how it works and stuff. So as you can also see, the KV type has changed to a Type 2. Now, that is obviously what we wanted. Um, but if you're going to try and change it to a type 1 you would do so and that would probably be say 1 in that box So that is pretty much it for this part of the tutorial uh, The next thing we're going to do is hit close and we're going to bring up FileZilla again and Go and delete the flash dump which is in the flash 360 folder 
So you can see it's gone, and we're going to drag and drop the UPD flash into the Flash 360 folder. It shouldn't take that long, as you can see it's done. And we're just going to exit the FileZilla client because we do not need this anymore. And I'll see you in just a second on the JTAG. Okay, so once you're on the JTAG side of things, the first thing you want to do is head over to the file manager on Freestyle Dash, go over to the root and the hard drive, Flash 360, and load flash360.xx once again. Uh, this time you want to press button A, which will allow you to write the UDP, sorry, the UPD flash. Then you want to press button B. Uh, and then it's going to come up with some writing. You want to press the start button to ignore and continue. Uh, the start button again to ignore and continue. And the last but not least is press the A button to begin. And this will start writing the UPD flash dot bin to the, uh, the JTAG. Now this shouldn't take too long. Uh, as you can see the percentage is on the, on the bottom right there. And when it's done, it will say press any button to continue. And you just do that. Press the back button to return to the main menu and the back button again, which will then give you a five second countdown to shut down your console. Now, once you have shut down your console, you're going to want to um, wait at least a minute uh, with the power cord taken out of the JTAG uh, or RGH, depending on what you're using. Uh, a lot of people say to do this. Um, I haven't tried it with the power cord in, so I just go uh, be safe and just take the power cord out for at least uh, I do it for at least a, a one minute so just take the power cord out for one minute plug the power cord back in and then boot up your JTAG uh, once you've booted up your JTAG you should be good to go your console is unbanned you're on your new key vault which should be hopefully unbanned uh, depending on where you've bought it from and you can do whatever you want to do now your DVD drive will read games as well um, unless it's obviously broken or you don't have one um, because we patched that uh, in the previous section of this tutorial. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment, rate, subscribe and all that good stuff. And uh, I've been XCX Solutions and I'm out. Peace.